Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is week two, or basically the end of week two, where I'm trying to get better at some calisthenic movements. If you haven't seen the first one, make sure to watch that first and then watch this video. But yeah, so like I said, I finished uh, week two. I'm working on the front lever and muscle ups. And yeah, it's been quite the journey so far. Like some exercises are getting better. Um, I feel more confident doing them. Um, I can hold some positions way longer, but still I'm far away from the front lever. I'm not sure if I can do it in 30 days. Um, I have to work even harder, but also I need to make sure that I recover better because I've been doing pull-ups every single day and after week two, I realized that my muscles were really not sore, but really tense. So um, I had my buddy Ant come over to do some body work on me. You will see that later with some cupping. But yeah, I don't want to waste too much time. Let's jump right into it. Um, and here we go. Okay, so as you guys can see over here, um, this is one exercise I do daily. Every single day I do five sets of um, this half L set and I hold it as long as possible. And uh, yeah, you can see over here, I always try to like completely lock up my arms and then have a 90 degree angle in my knee. Um, and in my hip, so it's basically 90 here and 90 there. Um, yeah, and then I just hold and also, yep, you know, play a little bit. So basically, I'm really focusing on my abs. I need to strengthen my core um, to be able to hold that uh, front lever. And another exercise that I do daily is pull-ups. Same thing over here, I had a conversation with a friend this week about um, what's a proper pull-up. There are different opinions on it. I personally want to do pull-ups a full range of motion. What does that mean? That means, you can see it over here, I completely lock up my arms, go all the way down, and then all the way up. Um, obviously, I switch up the pull-ups as well, so it's not always a wide grip or close grip. So over here, I did a pull-up with um, basically, not knee raises, but I tried to do the L set. Then switched it up again, wide pull-ups. Over here, you can tell I'm not, I mean, I'm fully extended, um, but I'm getting tired because this, I think, was my eighth or ninth set of pull-ups. Yes, I do that many. Um, this I just wanted to have in there because now you see how much I sweat. Um, this was also a leg day. So I did a leg day with Nadim and uh, Jan and I threw in my calisthenic movements because like I said, it's a challenge. I want to be able to do that. And yeah, so it's a daily grind. Over here, very important, very important. You see that I get tired. I can't even do, like see? And then I stopped, I was like Zzz. <laughs> I do a lot of pull-ups and I always try to do them pretty slow uh, to make sure that I get the full range of motion like I mentioned a couple times in the first video and uh, I don't know, I'm two minutes into the video and I, I said it like three times. This is super important to me because in my opinion, if I can't pull myself up from all the way down, how am I supposed to, you know, uh, keep my balance up there and keep my body up there? So I want to be able to like start from the bottom, go all the way up and hold it. Oh. Hey, so here we go. Then um, I did the the front lever, the half front lever where I have my knees close to my body. This exercise, I'm getting better. It feels better. Um, and as you guys can tell, I'm like, I'm able to hold it way longer. And this, I have to say, was the first time that I extended Hello, one of my legs. Whoa. That was interesting. So back to this one. So I extended my leg for the first time and as you can tell on my expression, I was super impressed by myself. I'm like, okay, I can hold it a little bit. That's good, it's a good progress. Then another day, um, same thing. Oh, did you see my right shoulder? Like I, did, I went down and then this popped a little bit, like fell down a little bit. This was the first sign that I um, uh, had like a lot of tension in my back because I was just like flexing it and I was like I had my shoulder up here and this one too and then I realized that I'm like super tense I'm like oh relax but I only relaxed one leg uh, from like one uh, side of my uh, shoulder blade and then I had to relax the other one very important because that's why I started doing body work more um, yeah I also worked on some holds um, and 
Yeah, I think you will see that same issue here again where one shoulder blade drops. I'm not sure if that was here. I think it's here. Let's wait, let's wait, and up, up, it's twitching. Hmm, I think it's the next one. I think in the next one you'll see it because I put it in there. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, so watch my right shoulder blade. In the next one, maybe? Yeah, I think now. Oh, did you see that? Let's pause, three minute 20, did you see that? So it went all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, and then all of a sudden it was like whoop, and moved. So um, I'm so happy that I recorded this because I really have to focus on that. Um, after a couple of sets of pull-ups, I get so much tension in my, in my neck because I want to be able to hold it, but I need to relax and just really pull into my lats instead of you know trying to pull myself up with my shoulders and my neck, you know? So that's important, it's an important note. You probably have, I don't know if, you know, you might have the same issue. And if you face that, here's the solution. Relax your shoulders and bring your shoulder blades down. And when you pull yourself up, don't try to go like in, try to go out and up. This is, this makes it harder, but I found that I get way stronger. If I really focus on full range of motion and go all the way out and down, um, I get stronger faster. So let's continue. Boom. Okay, and the hold again. Yeah. Nice. Okay, here again. Um, the front lever with tugged knees. Look at this. Like, I'm still struggling, but I'm so proud of this because now I can hold it for way longer. And another day, same thing again. Like I said, same routine. Pull-ups, front lever, tugged knees. I'm able to hold it now. Uh, the biggest thing over here is to keep your hip up. Yep, here we go. And now, yeah, obviously like I, I trained some muscle ups too. You can see I'm, I'm still using a lot of momentum, but I'm super proud of myself. I was able to do four in a row after my workout where I did pull-ups and my front lever um, tuck, with tucked knees and yeah, now I'm playing with, you know, just one leg extended, bring it back in, extend the other one, and try to go down. It's still hard, but yeah. <laughs> the face. <laughs> yeah, but it feels better, it feels better. Um, yeah, this is, this is it, guys. Let's do this. What's the next clip? Alrighty. Boom. And here we go. Okay, that's enough. That was the last day. That was uh, Saturday. This is this is an exercise I do um, daily, but for some reason I never recorded it. Um, and I'm getting better at it as well. Uh, remember the deadlift when I said in the first video that this exercise is really hard and I don't know how to do it. I'm still struggling, but it's getting way better. Like I I know that I have to just. Um, use my lats and really focus on my back when I try to like get my hip up and like close to the bar um, And yeah, I, I really like it now because it's so hard, but it helps me progress faster This exercise is just yeah, I just throw it in there. So in my mind. I know like you know how to like be up there um, <laughs> Here I tried the front lever <laughs> Failed That was fast um, and yeah, then again, the tucked version of it. And now I'm really focusing on the tucked version um, to flex my abs and hold this position for as lo long as possible. And like I said, now it's it's uh, it's fun. It's it's really like it. It's cool to do it. Yeah, and I ended my workout over here with a combination of wide pull-ups and then close grip pull-ups um, as many as possible. So I just did three, 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 three. And I walked over there again. Um, and as you guys can tell, again, I know it's repetitive, but I wanna make sure that you guys, you know, do the full range of motion. Because I see so many people just hang in there from here and then they do this. You will not build the strength to like support yourself up here. You know, when you're there, it's not gonna work. 
Um, obviously over here I'm tired, so my arms are not fully extended, but yeah, that's the video. I will keep filming all of the, the progressions. I wanna let you know what I did every single day. Five sets of the baby L sit hold for as long as possible. So yeah, you just hang there and hold and keep breathing, flex your abs and do that for five sets. Next exercise, I uh, started doing pull-ups, wide pull-ups, full range of motion, so I completely dead hang all the way up, chin above uh, the bar, and then all the way down again. Also, five sets of as many as possible. And then I switched it up a little bit, where it's like, okay, these are my five that I do all the time, and then I added as many as possible, so if you feel like doing another five sets, go for it. Um, sometimes I ended up at like seven, eight, nine, like in total. Um, but yeah, so five ones, super wide. And then for the uh, for the next ones, just switch it up, close grip here, here, do some L-sit uh, pull-ups, um, switch it up, what I did in the last set, where you have wide, three wide, three close, and switch it up all the time. So you hit different muscle fibers to strengthen your back even more. And then the reverse deadlift, five sets, as many reps as possible. Um, I managed to do 10 to 15 on the first three sets and then it and then it drastically dropped to like five or six because I wasn't able to like hold that tension anymore. And then moving on to the tucked um, front lever. This again, five sets, hold for as long as possible and then when you feel comfortable, when you're able to hold it longer than 15 or 20 seconds, try to extend one leg. So one in, one leg is completely tucked in, the knee is really close to your body, and then you extend the other one and try to hold it there. You will see it will um, increase the intensity by, I don't know, 400%. <laughs> and then for the muscle up, it's just repetition. I do as many as possible. I, I try to um, have at least three or four sets in the end of each workout to um, you know, just try to get up there. Obviously, I'm always tired after the first <laughs> exercise that I did, but for me right now, the most important thing is the front lever because I'm able to do a, a muscle up. Um, to make that even better, I think n starting next week, I should just throw in one or two days a week where I only focus on muscle ups. Um, but for now, like I said, the front lever is so difficult for me that I really wanna spend more time on that. All right guys, so this is the end of week two. I'm pretty far from a front lever, but I think the progressions and the, the, the progress to week number two from day one is, is pretty impressive for myself. Like I'm very proud of myself. Um, I definitely have to work harder and more to be able to finish um, you know, by day 30 and to be able to do a front lever, but I will keep doing that. I'll keep you know filming everything and I'll see you guys next Monday with another video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit the no notification button um, and yeah, I'll see you next time.